Hi, Trinity Baptist Church. Shauna was teasing me last week that I like to change up camera angles. I don't actually like to change up camera angles, but we've moved again, and the reason is that I just have less and less appetite to set up that camera. I am so tired of cameras, I would rather see you all face to face. But here we are. I do have an appetite to open God's word and to um, at least at least reach out to you all. And so I am glad to record this video. I just don't want to pull out the uh, cable. So today you are sitting on my desk. Um, the passage I'd like to read together this morning is a very short one from the Sermon on the Mount. It came up this morning in my uh, my meeting with Susan. Susan is such a champion for this church. She has been working and working and working to make all this happen. She knows the the guidelines we've been given backwards and forwards. Not only that, but you know that she knows um, our, our VBA set up backwards and forwards. I am so thankful that we have this team of volunteers led by Susan who, who knows how to get this place ready for this outdoor uh, worship service we did not expect we would need to get ready. But as Susan and I were talking, we were talking about something. I don't know what it was. Mm, trash cans or something. And she said, you know, we're going the extra mile here. She was right. And, and it struck me, you know, that phrase, going the extra mile, is from the Bible, the, the Bible we read. I should go read that and think about how it pertains to this whole situation. Well, here it is in Matthew chapter 5. Jesus is, is uh, telling his disciples... Uh, You've heard it said that it was, uh, you've heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you to take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. My understanding is that at the time, you know, Israel was under Roman occupation, and so any of the Roman centurions could at any time tell any citizen, hey, you, you need to carry my armor for me. And that centurion was allowed to, uh, to conscript this person for up to one mile. And so this isn't just a generic statement that, that anyone who might force you to go one mile is a centurion making you carry his armor one mile. And Jesus says, if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him too. Um, I think that applies to where we are today. Maybe it's just me because I've been reading this four-page document and producing this like seven or eight-page document we're required to have and, and to post before we, uh, we start. And I should say, it, it's not really like a centurion making me carry his armor. I think that uh, these guidelines have been given to us by people that, uh, right or wrong, and I don't know, I'm not a doctor, are truly trying to help us stay healthy. Um, but it's useful to go, you know, wherever we're asked to go one mile, it's pertinent to remember that Jesus said, even if it's a Roman centurion telling you to carry his armor, go two miles. There are some things for this worship service where, where we're, we've been asked to go one mile and we're going one mile because one mile is pretty far. You know, We've been asked to wear face coverings. I'm not going to ask you to wear two face coverings. Um, but I think this is a good attitude for us to have right now as we navigate this world. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him too. Um, you know, in the case of these centurions, honestly, if somebody asks you to do something they shouldn't be asking you to do, sometimes you just have to put them to shame by going above and beyond and going two miles and showing them that you're the bigger person because you're following Jesus. And in these circumstances, so many of the things we're being asked to do are out of genuine care for us. And so whether we do it because we, we believe in it or we do it because we follow Jesus and we're the kind of people that if we're asked to go one mile, go two. In any case, I think as we gather together for worship, either on the lawn, in the cars, from home, wherever is good um, for you and your family to worship, I think together we really can bear witness to who Jesus is by being the kind of people that uh, give not just our tunics but our cloaks and who go not just one mile but two. Expect an email from me later today with that comprehensive policy and, and kind of a reader-friendly version. I am praying for you all, and I love you all. And uh, I would so, so appreciate your prayers for me and for one another.